guys, it's me Jillian and welcome back to my channel. So for today's vlog, I'm going to be doing the most awaited video finally and a dream come true for me. And I will be showing you guys my weightless journey on how I came to this and now to this. So without further more, let's get into the video. So guys, before I start my journey, I just want to tell you that this video is not sponsored and everything is just based on my experience. By the way, I have your paper. I just wrote it para hindi random yung sabihin ko. So first, I want to share you my reasons and why I want to lose weight. So first guys, I want to be fit and sexy din. And second, I want to wear OOTDs. Now yung mga pang sexy kasi... Diba, pag sexy ka, feeling ko, lahat sa'yo na babagay. And also, I want to wear bikinis. And third, I want to join beauty pageants, modeling, ganun. So, nagpapayat talaga ako, guys, for that. So, growing up, mataba talaga ako. I remember when I was grade 1 or grade 2, 49 kilograms. And, guys, alam niyo na. So, mahilig talaga akong kumain ng madami, lots of rice, canning, over the calories. As I mature and grow, my weight increases too. I attempted to lose weight two times and luckily, nag -lose naman ako but unfortunately, I gained back those weight. Last year, 2020, I was high school noon and the body say that high school is way different from elementary and nung nag-graduate ako from elementary, mataba talaga ako guys. And Sinasabi nila ang tanda-tanda ko. Tignan, ang taba ko, ang baboy ko. So, nasasaktan ako nun. Every time I hear those, nag -e echo sa ears ko. And guys, mahirap siya. They thought it was just a simple word. But for me, it affects myself, my self-confidence. I lost self-confidence and self-love. Naipon lahat ng mga maling sinabi nila. And that's how it started. I've changed myself for betterment and for me to gain confidence. So first, I started working out with Miss Simply Be Nice. Since I was still 13 then, I'm not allowed to go to the gym. And diba, pandemic nga. In the afternoon, nagbabike ako. Pero dito lang namin, around dito sa house namin, nagbabike ako, ganun. Started to lessen the food that I eat. I started it little by little, day by day, step by step. Ayoko ng bigla yun yung sarili ko guys kasi baka di ko kayanin. Okay. So guys, ready your ball pen and paper and listan nyo lahat. And make sure nakakayanin nyo guys. But I believe in you. Ako nga kinaya ko, kayo pa kaya diba? So first, drink plenty of water. Water was my best friend then. Every time... I wake up, I drink hot water, but make sure na kaya nyo siyang inumin. And then, after workout, before meals especially, in between meals, and after meals. And every time, I feel hungry, water lang, because water is zero calories. And if you're losing weight, make sure that you're hydrated, guys, okay? Second na nakatulong sa akin is intermittent fasting. I started with 16-8 fasting. For me, it was super effective, especially when you eat the right amount of foods. Habang tumatagal, tumatagal din yung fasting hours na kaya ko. So, water fasting lang yun. I don't see fasting as a very hard and challenging to do kasi decided talaga ako noon na magpapayat guys. Believe na believe ako sa sarili ko. That's one thing you should have which is confidence in yourself. Third is exercise. Nag-start ako with Simply Pinay and then gusto ko yung mas intense so I did clothing two week shred. Full body workout. I did it for first time. No first time guys. Tinay ko if kaya ko and then kinaya ko naman then 5 days straight. Until naging one month, 31 days, no, 31 days challenge, and then 5 days rest, and then 31 days challenge again. I recommend you if hindi ka pa masyadong familiar or hindi ka pa masyadong nag-workout, do a beginner-friendly workout para di ka mahirapan. Link below, guys. Secret dito is consistency and perseverance. Dapat may rule and purpose ka in working out because working out is not a joke. Every day, motivated ako mag-workout. nag enjoy ako. Naging part na siya ng daily routine ko. So, there are days when I also feel tired and lazy. But I just think of the reason why ako nagpapapayat noon. And yung mga masasakit na sinabi ng tao sa akin, yung pagbuli nila sa akin, guys. And that kept me going and motivated. Here's a tip in working out. 
See workout as a way of removing stress, releasing anxieties, or anything that bothers you within the day. Don't see it as a very heavy task. Add it to your daily routine. Enjoy every sweat. And it will be very addicting, guys. Super, super addicting. And that's gonna be worth it, okay? Fourth is food portioning. Controlling your food intake. Nung nag-start ako, hindi pa ako masyadong strict sa mga kinakain ko. Pero I make sure na naglalesen ako, guys. Nagbabawas na ako ng mga foods. I just ate foods na kinakain dito sa bahay. What I mean to say is, hindi ako nakain ng oats noon. Kasi ayaw ko yung oats. But I use oats for my cookies now. Tapos nakita yun sa isang vlog ko, guys. I did literally cut out carbs nung nagsisimula. Kumakain din ako ng mga fast food. But for portion control will always be the key. Pero as, it, as time goes by, nag-calorie count na ako. And then one time, sumagi sa isip ko na gusto kong pabilis na kasi magsisimula na yung online classes. So, nag-research ako about mga facts and effects and how you're gonna do calorie deficit. And in ko siya. And luckily, effective naman siya, guys. Not so low calorie intake, I make sure na it's enough for my body. There are times when I also want to eat unhealthy foods, pero minsan guys, hindi na kasya sa daily intake ko. So I just yung mindset ko lang noon is kakainin ko yon once I reach my goal weight, which is 50 kilos. But I have sweet tooth, so minsan ko makin din ako ng mga sweets. Most yung kinakain kong sweets noon is instead of chocolates, mga fruits ganon kasi mas healthy naman yon yung mga bananas. Apple, palagi ako nagpapabili na ng apple, dragon fruit guys, nag-smoothie din ako noon and effective siya. Nakatulong naman siya. I shouldn't forget to put it in this video. But Nora's diet was one na nakatulong sa akin. It was very, very effective. Nakatulong din naman siya. Makakatulong sa if you want to substitute rice with anything like with pasta. Everyday kang kakain ng pasta. Hindi. Kumakain lang ako if like my occasions, may pa-birthday, ganun. Pero hindi ako masyadong kumakain ng pasta and rice noon. I was more to ulam and vegetable. But growing up, talagang sinanay ko ng parents ko na kumain ng vegetable and my dad was really strict noon. Hindi niya ako inaalaw na to drink sodas. Um, minsan lang, pero not every day. Occasionally and also with junk food. So, hindi, rin ako, hindi ko rin hinahanap noon yung mga tichiria. Hindi ko hinahanap, guys. Pero minsan, nagka-cave din ako. Siyempre, if my period. Pero, little bit lang naman. So, cheat days. Let's talk about cheat days. Noong... Yung iba kasi, nung nagsasart ako, hindi pa ako, wala pa ako sa cheat day noon kasi gusto kong makakita ulit, makakita ng improvement na, fast improvement. So, hindi pa ako nag-cheat day noon kasi hindi man masyadong intense yung diet ko nung nagsisimula. Pero when I was in the most intense part, my cheat day ako, which is Saturday. Pero not a cheat day, hindi na cheat day na sobrang daming kakain. Yung makain ko lang mga sweets, ganun. Okay na ako noon guys. So guys, these are the things that I found effective in losing 19 kilos. Believe it or not, I've lost 19, 19 kilos at the age of 30 nung nagsimula and now I'm 14. Halata bang 14 ako, 15 na ako guys. And I feel proud of myself. So I'll be posting this on July, June 14. June 14, 2020 kasi when nag-lose ako ng weight. So one year na. So you upload ko na tong weightless journey which my friends have been asking me. I've lost weight naturally and without drinking slimming tea because I'm still young and gusto ko talagang mag-lose ng weight ng natural lang kasi baka may mga side effects, ganon. And ngayon guys, minamaintain ko na lang yung body ko. Pero, hindi ko pa nasabi, pero we have different types of bodies. Others say that intermittent is not effective, nor is that is effective. Well, they can be effective if they go together. Parang, they're a group na they should go together. Hindi ka, pag, hindi ka papayat if mag-exercise ka lang. Hindi ka papayat kung mag-norize diet ka lang. Pero substitute mo naman ng noodles, ng mga pasta, ganon. And they really, really need to go together. Exercise for you to burn those fats. Calorie deficit to control the foods that you eat. 
not so low calories and make sure na kaya ng katawan you guys. And as I was on my weightless journey, I've learned so many lessons. And if you're on your weightless journey, just keep going and sometimes you're nawawala ka sa, sa truck pero always get back on truck and that's a part of it. Minsan nagkakamali din ako noon and I learned so many lessons and I applied them and do oh, I achieved 50 kilograms guys. Sobrang happy ko nung na-achieve ko yung goal weight ko as in. I started without anything, without yoga mat. Nung gray, I don't know when I per when did I purchase a yoga mat. Pero nung day one ko, wala pa talaga yung complete equipment. And may pabili ako ng wing skill nung August 5 yun. Lumating yun and magtutumas na akong nag-lose ng weight ton. So, it's okay. You can lose weight without having those complete equipment. You can... Start it with yourself, and if you're trying to lose weight, I wish na nakatulong tong video na to sa you. And if you want to lose weight, download my video, save it offline, and panorin mo lang to. I hope that you guys are motivated with your workout and kaya niyo yan. Kinaya ko di ba? So, sana kaya niyo din, okay? So please, I just want to address no to bullying, no to body shaming because you don't know what that person is going through. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok because I also I'm also active there on TikTok. And if you have questions, just comment it down below. And if you have more video suggestions related on my weightless journey, please comment. If you have more video suggestions, ganon. Don't be shy, just comment it down below. If you've reached this part of this video, thank you guys. I hope that may na-learn kayo, may napulot kayong lesson dito sa video ko. And if you found this video helpful and effective, comment it down below. Thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye! So I forgot to tell you that if you're struggling with weight loss, I hope that this video helped. And if you're finding for a sign to lose weight kasi gusto nang magpapayat, then this is the sign. Magpapayat ka na and share mo na din. I look forward to watching your weight loss journey, guys. Don't forget to subscribe! Bye.